Good afternoon and welcome to Breaking Mitsubishi. My name's Joel, and today we're going to be going through this 2017 Kodak Kodiak. It is a 123 TSI NS model, uh, model year 18. So um, I'm not going to go through and repeat the model every single time, so we're just going to refer it to as a Skoda going forwards. It is in the quartz grey colour, which is a very nice colour for the car itself. Um, just makes it pop very well. About 95,000 kilometres approximately on this vehicle, with an average fuel consumption of about 7.6. It is a 4x4, 2-litre um, turbo petrol, so got a little bit of grunt. It's got some power too, so it works out pretty well. Going to be going through the interior, the exterior, and just all the features on this vehicle as well. Um, so a quick walk around for it, and we'll run through the interior stuff. If you do have any questions uh, further about this vehicle, please feel free to inquire um, or call us on 9907055, and we'll be happy to assist you further. So just having a quick look, you can see it is a very aggressive look and it just looks very, very clean and sleek. We do have colour matched wing mirrors and also door handles in this vehicle with our indicators in the wing mirrors themselves. Uh, rims on this car um, are alloys, which are very, very nice. Now the size of those alloys is, uh, by the looks of that, let me have a look, sorry, 19 inch alloys. So they're actually very, very big sized alloys and they look really nice to the car. Like they, they blend very, very well. Um, now the vehicle itself does look like it has got some window tint on it as well. So pre previous owners pre um, definitely looked after this vehicle itself. You do have a little bit of a, a blue kind of glow in that kind of car as well, which you can kind of see kind of flows through the interior all around. We do have leather and micro suede for your seats in this vehicle. Um, carpet mats in here as well with a little bit of a storage compartment in the very side just neatly tucked away in there as well. You may not be able to see it, so I'll back up a little bit so the lighting can correct itself. Manual adjustments in both seats in this particular car as well. Um, oh, sorry, in the passenger side. I don't know about the driver's side just yet, so we'll confirm that when we get over there. We do have like a little bit of a plastic grainy look in the, the doors themselves that does kind of flow through to the car, which is very, very nice. Now the paintwork on this vehicle is very, very clean as well. So something to keep that in mind. It has definitely been pretty well looked after. I'm just going to get these out of the way really quickly, just because I'll be able to show you all the rest of the car as well. So let me just get these out of the way for you real quick. My apologies. Alrighty, so we have our seat controls and everything like that. Um, very similar, so you have your slide motions. It's a little bit hard to do with one hand, but that gives you a good example of how much room you actually have built into this car. It does look like that we have um, some phone holders for the, that's been kind of popped in there for the kids on the very backs of the seats. Not 100% certain on, on what they actually are. However, yeah, it'll be something to kind of do some research about. We do have some storage behind the drivers and also the passenger side seats as well. Uh, very nifty. Gives you um, plenty of storage there. Now, we also have our blue flow through, which is very, very nice. I don't know why. I really love it. Um, a very good amount of storage space in the door. Um, now, you do have your carpet for sound editing and also to kind of keep, um, you know, anything from rattling around. We also have a sunshade. So if you lift that bad boy up, it's just a little bit of a sunshade. Now if I close that one, on top of the tint, that looks very, very sleek and neat. Makes it look very good. Now let's push, pull this seat down and have a little bit of a look in the back. So it is a seven seater model. Um, so you do have plenty of room. Now I think if I pull this one, it might come forwards. There you go. That's pretty nifty. Do you have a cargo blind in here as well, which is located in the car itself? I'm gonna take it out just so we can um, potentially fiddle around with the seats themselves in the back so we can fiddle around, see what they can kind of do. So let me just pop this down really quickly, my apologies, and we can kind of go from there. Rear rim over here is in very good condition as well, so nothing really to mention or have to run over on that particular one either. Alrighty, so coming around to the back of the car itself, um, we can see we do have an electric boot in this vehicle too, which is very nifty. I've just simply pressed the key inside my pocket to see if it was going to work for me, and it's opened up very nicely. Now in here we have um, a good amount of storage in the actual car itself. Now that is a very, very neat storage wise. So left hand side, right hand side, you've got plenty of storage there. Looks like you've got a little posse under here if you wanted to have a first aid kit tucked away in there as well, um, which is all you know, neatly marked out. Very, very nice. Now it looks like we can um, have our seats folded down uh, which I'm actually just going to pull this up to see how it kind of works. Uh, it's just kind of clipped to that back seat, so it's a little bit difficult to kind of pull up with one hand, uh, but it's very, very easy. Now to pull it down, I'm assuming, yep, clip that down, push it. Let's fold it down so you can see exactly what it's like, so you can see what boot space you actually have. Which, that's actually pretty good. That's quite a lot of boot space for a car. Now, 
we also have a button just here, which probably actually folds in the seats a lot easier than what I've just done them um, on both sides for you as well. 12 volt adapter in the right hand side over here too. So very, very nifty to have. Let's close this boot and I'll see if I can close it with the key as well. We do have reverse parking sensors and also a reverse camera in this car as well. Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. Yep, so it looks like it's gonna close it for you too. So you can see there, we do have a reverse camera, which is very, very neatly tucked away. Coming around to our third rim over here, it's in very good condition too. Um, doesn't look like there's any uh, gutter ash or anything like that either, which is very nifty. Fuel cap on the right-hand side over here, which isn't massively common on cars. So sometimes it's easier to refill at petrol stations, but it works out very well. Now on the right-hand side over here, yet again, door trim's identical to the other side. Uh, very good amount of storage, so I won't run over all of it. I'll just do a quick pan for you. And then our seat is in very good condition too. So very nice seats in this car, like very comfortable to it as well. I'm gonna jump in, have a little bit of a feel, see if it's comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable actually. Very different. I like the, I like the other material. Again, this is um, our little kind of clip. I'm, I'm assuming this is for your phone. I'm assuming it's for a phone or like a, a little iPad or something like that. So definitely very, very good for touring. Jump out of there. Sorry, my apologies. Little detour. It does look like we do have our keyless entry and everything built into this car as well. So there's a little bit of a button just on here um, that basically closes in our mirrors. And it also unlocks when you actually open the door handle as well. So two different types of keyless entry, which works out pretty well. Small little trash compartment located in the side door, which is <laughs> pretty nifty. I haven't actually seen that before, which I was pretty impressed by. And there's a boot button just here. So I'm assuming this would open your boot electrically, which it certainly most does what it's meant to be doing. I wonder if it closes it too. Let's have a look. No, maybe push to close. Oh, yep, no, it does. We just have to hold it for a little bit longer. Well, maybe not. Ah, oh, it doesn't. It may, may, I may just may not know the exact function for it. We have our mirror controls and also our window controls and also heated mirror all located on the right hand side over here, which is pretty nifty. Uh, very nice to have. Our bay or driver's side bay is in very good condition. Well, there you go, you press, pull and hold it in and it comes all the way down. There you go, locked it, awesome. So on our driver's side over here as well, we do have manual adjustment seats as well. So I was right about that. I just confirmed that. Now we do have our auto lights and also auto wipers in this car too. Um, so also auto lights, I don't know about auto wipers. Let me double check. It looked like it's at A before. No, we don't. So it's just auto lights in this car. No, no auto wipers, so my apologies about that. Um, now, let's turn this on and run through all of the features in the car because there's actually quite a lot to run over. So you just push button start. I do have two keys, so which is pretty rare that you kind of get with cars. They're actually neat little keys too. So they're very, very nice. So I'll pop that in here. Button's just on here. Put my foot on the brake and we'll turn this bad boy on. So it's got a very, very nice way of turning on with everything too. So I'll make sure I turn down the volume of the actual head unit too. Welcome to Skoda. It's very nice. Sound by Canton. All right, so let's just turn this down really quickly. All right, so that's all the way muted now, just so that that way I don't have anything to come back on us if we pop this on YouTube. Now we have our cruise control settings under the bottom left here. So we'll start down here. We have uh, basically your speed, basically by tapping that up, adjustments uh, and distance. Also oh, the distance, distance controls as well. That's kind of cool. So it's adaptive cruise control, uh, which works out very nicely. Indicators located on the left-hand side over here. Um, with your uh, high beam by the looks of that. So you got your parking parkers on there as well. Uh, on the right hand side over here, we do have our um, wiper controls. Sorry. Yeah, your wiper controls over here. So that works out very, very nicely. So very easy to get to as well. Now it looks like on this side over here, what do we have here? Front assist, I'm not too sure exactly what the assist system would be. It may be something to do with, uh, in relation to our, like your automatic braking systems. However, I cannot confirm that. Uh, you'd have to look up the, exactly what is in your car. So you've got your data on your car. You've got vehicle, phone, audio, navigation. So you can actually bring your navigation up, which is pretty handy. Um, driving data, let's actually open that up and see what it kind of is. So it's like your kilometers, I'm assuming. Um, distance, traveling time. Oh, that's actually very, very intuitive. Uh, range. Let's bring that up range. Awesome, nice and easy. Left hand side here, we've got our voice controls um, as well as our um, basically navigating through our stations on the very center compartment um, and our voice controls there. Now in the very center compartment here, we do have our, basically our climate control settings. So very nifty to have. Now it looks like we do have split climate control. So let's turn this up. 
Yep, so this dual zone climate control, which is very, very nice to have. Um, now, on the very center compartment here, we do have auto stop, uh, which is very nifty. So basically, um, or auto hold, no, it's auto stop for this one. And then you've got your parking sensors, your hazards. Uh, you get a lock button, which is pretty handy to have. Good amount of storage here, which let's have a look. Yes, awesome, it slides open. So you've got plenty of storage in there. And you've also got a USB AUX, um, I'll come over this side, and a 12 volt adapter just in there too. Now we have got sports mode, um, an electric parking brake along with auto hold in this particular car too, um, which in the very center, let's have a look at this customizable compartment. It's a very good storage unit there. So you can move that around however you'd like to. Um, more storage there too, so that works out very nicely. Uh, another thing that I also found out with this vehicle is you can actually customize all of your um, reverse parking things. So if you're wanting to kind of go through, so this is your reverse camera, you can change the, the colors, the lines, uh, which angle you'd like to. So if you're gonna be reverse parking a little bit closer, if you want to be to see you know, exactly directly down in front of you, if you're gonna be going to car park, um, you can actually see you know the cars and everything like that and where they currently are. If you're going to be just going backwards, which is the standard one that I would be using, that's just the way that you can kind of go to it. You go to your home button right here. Um, I'll put that back into park really quickly. You'll have all of your, um, like your telephone settings, your radio and everything like that as well. So plenty of options there. Now, if you go into your menu, this may be where you can actually connect on your phone. So you've got smart link um, and everything like that built into it too. And vehicle data, which is very, very handy. Up here, we do have a sunglasses compartment too. So very nifty to have um, located in the very top of the roof there. But that pretty much concludes our walk around of this uh, Skoda. It is a very gorgeous car, very different. Um, personally, haven't really dealt with too many of them myself. So it's, uh, it's been good learning all of the technology and the systems built into them. However, if you do have any further questions, please feel free to ask our staff. Um, we'll be happy to assist you further. Um, 9907-055. Or inquire on the vehicle and we'll be in touch with you. But that pretty much wraps up our walk around of this Skoda. Let's pop around the front and have a look at the driving lights and also the daytime running lights. They looks incredible. My name's Joel and have a lovely day.